Greetings YouTube, Kunis here, and let's continue being the Bahman. Where we last left off, we were about to attack VJ. In fact, our truce expires in June of next year. So we're going to bide our time for a strike that will truly get rid of this guy. Well, not once and for all, because he's still over, well, 186 war score now. But close enough, because we'll be able to use Reconquest. Oh, Mewara calls me against Sindh. In the conquest of Umarkot. That's unfortunate because I was gonna go there, but alright, fine. Um, Sindh and Sistan. That's not an, a hard war. That's also why I wanted to do it. Did you call Rewakwanta? You did not call Rewakwanta in. Oh, but uh, he's no longer allied. Oh no, he's, he's still allied. That's fine. But he's fighting his own war anyway. You're not able to finish sieging Gujarat properly. Which is kind of cute when you think about it. Um, oh, I'm paused. Whoops. Uh, I am at 6 out of 4, but I'm annexing Garchat, which is almost done. The people are pleased. Yes, yes indeed, the people are pleased. They can continue being pleased as much as they want. The Demi aren't pleased, but the Demi are not real people. I mean, really. Um, State-wise, we can state Andhra, which is interesting. But I can't afford it, because we're still unlocking ideas, so we're not going to waste admin points. Am I focusing admin? Yes, I am. I am, however. I've lost my Diplo guy. Um, how much money can I afford? I can't afford the plus two guy. You are hired. I mean, Diplo rep would help me annex vassals faster, but this guy will help me eat people faster. Because he'll make all of this aggressive expansion go away faster, especially since we're going to add a lot of aggressive expansion very soon. And I see that Rewa Quanta has eaten um, Gujarat entirely. Um, oh, hey, my vassals are sieging. Ooh, my vassals are sieging. No, that's not my vassal. Never mind, Dundar is not my vassal. Dundar is uh, an ally of Mewar. There we go, prestige is good. And we're going to get even more prestige when we get Legacy of Gisu Daraz, which is going to be great. Um... I'm looking forward to Inquisition as well. Well, right now it's not so important because provinces have not been converted to Sunni yet, but when I start eating in Persia and stuff, it's going to be very useful. Two conversions have finished, which means we can launch two more. Uh, I like launching them at the same numbers, that way I finish at the same time. I like the synchronized uh, thing. Our value cannon finished, which is great. Also, we are on April. We are about to be able to declare war on VJ. An exciting time for our country, to be sure. Um, I am so ready for this. Uh, oh, hey, it took a province. You have a claim on it. Fine, you take it. I really dislike that my war is growing so much. Oh, our truce with BJ has expired. Can I launch my war? I can call Bengal in as well. I can make it reconquest. I will make Mana. Which one is the biggest province? Tanjore at 22. Coromandel is also 22. Madurai is quote unquote only 18. So uh, Coromandel is probably the better province. I'm like Coromandel the war goal. I'm calling Bengal in. Uh, who is Jarkand allied to? VJ, but he is guaranteed by John Poor, so I should not co-belligerent him. Let's go get in position to win the war easily. I'll let VJ destroy my vassals around for a bit, and we'll see what happens. Um, free Diplo points, yes. The only answer to that is yes. Um, we are almost in position, and... War is launched. VJ, I declare war. Koromandel is the war goal, as it should be. We are now at war. And I am now at war with Rewa Kanta as well. Which is perfect for me. Unfortunately, I can't release Gujarat as a vassal without losing Surat. Is there another vassal I can make out of him? I think there should be. Katia War. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Katia War provinces, and I'm just gonna make Katia War as a vassal. And probably I'll start looking at backstabbing Mewar now. Because he is in my way. 
and he has increased scoring cost, and therefore he's making all of this land more expensive to conquer, and I don't like that. Um, does Bengal have a claim on Damin? He probably wants it. Right? Oh yeah, he really wants it. Okay, um... Before it is too late, go to Damin. Ah, crap, Bengal took... Got me, got there before me. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, he, uh... Nice, nice, yes! Because of the battle, he decided to lift his occupation. So I will get all of Jarkand. Bengal will have nothing to say about it. As it should be. Um... Taken the Siege of Jarkand, I can just full annex Jarkand, probably. Sue for peace. Gives me a coalition that is non existent. Do I have the box check? Yeah, allow air friendly armies to attach. Don't don't attach. Go go do your own things. Okay, we're gonna keep sieging Erevakanta. Then we're gonna go to Kodomandel post haste. Actually I can send the mercs. Let's send the mercs. My goal is to get all of Madurai's score and to steal the island. Anything else I get from it is extra. Although the fort in Jinji appeals to me. I can enact taxation policy. Why, yes I will. Like the one that gives me manpower and core creation cost. That is such a done deal. That is so good. Alright, go sit on the war goal. Um, Bengal, why are you staying there? Also, why aren't you surrendering? Um, I will eat you, Jarkhand. There is no escape. I could feed Garjat, but he's almost done an exing, so there really isn't any point. Uh, Koromandel has become mine, so I have the Wargle. My vassal is occupied, which is unfortunate. But not all that unsurprising. Um, oh, my mercs are about to get their asses kicked. This is okay. I guess it's unfortunate. Uh, run faster. There we go. We have run. It's unfortunate, but it cost VJ 2000 manpower and it didn't cost me anything. So we got a, you know, pretty good deal out of this. He's worth exactly 50%, so maybe, maybe I can full annex Rewa Quanta. I hope. I really, really hope. Because I don't want to see him anymore. He is in my way, he's been threatening to join my coalitions for so long. Heretics of Bastar and Sugurja, that's perfect. Let's go for another synchronized conversion. Ooh, Golconda, yes, definitely. Stack wiped this guy. We're now losing money reinforcing our mercs, but that's okay. Um, Bingo, what the hell? Are you hoping that the Jarkan somehow, you know, frees itself and comes to you? That is not happening. Now get your stuff together and come help me in war. You bastard. Uh, go do something useful, like fight VJ or something. That's why I called you in this war, right? Fight DJ. So I don't have to lose too much manpower. That said, I'm gonna go lose some manpower. Uh, take the good general. You can run really fast. Go to VJ. Now, Rewa Quanta, can I full annex you? Yes. Exactly 100%. I get a coalition, but that is inconsequential. Integration is a slow process, so I've regained what will be a vassal Diplo slot. I haven't actually regained it because I'm still two over, well, one over, but that's okay. I'll eat my sword and I die eventually. Um, now I just need to wait for this guy to be willing to fully surrender, which will happen relatively soon, I would think. Oh, hey, I've gained uh, this guy's troops. I've gained Garja's troops. 
Uh, appoint the garbage general. This 12 stack is going to go. Stack wipe Perigua Quarta's remnants. And um, make sure that all of it stays occupied. Where is VJ's army? I don't know. I'm gonna go sit on Genji. Alright, get over here. I am going to eliminate you, Rewa Quanta. Stop running. I shall stack wipe you, and that will be that. Where's he going? He's probably hiding using Milwar's War. Or is he even? No, he wasn't called in it. If he had been called in it, he wouldn't have been able to answer the VJ call. Okay. Where's he going? I don't even know where he's going. He moves in mysterious ways with his four movement. But he is locked movement in Jai Salmer. There is a chance. No, I'm not catching him. He is... Locked movement to Pimarkot. Will I catch him then? Maybe. Yes! Yes, I will. Let's fight. Good riddance to your army. There we go. Now are you accepting of a full annexation? There we go. He is dead. He is D-E-D -E -D dead. I will get a coalition that will include three people, including VJ. So, no one. Now, I wish to kick and core these acquisitions. But those three I will feed to a potential Kethiawar vassal, which I will release from there. Um, first I need to finish the VJ war. Uh, don't want to lose admin points right now. I'll create unrest in Goa. It's unfortunate, but it's my only option. Oh, hey, VJ's attacking me in Jinji. And apparently not winning. Alright. I have won. As it should be. Perfect. VJ's general is kind of bad. I do want Siege Mysore for war score. Hopefully I'll finish this uh, siege soon. And Bengal will get the siege of VJ, then we'll be fine to get all of the peace we want. And power debt is actually not that big, so that's great. We can make a state out of Garjat, which is worth like nothing. Uh, living in the moment can be sweet indeed, turning a profit. I like the sound of that. I like that free money. So Mewar lost a friend, because I ate it. And uh, Sind is now making a comeback, because Mewar is like, sieging Sistan or something. Okay, come on, Ford, fall. Fall already, I need you to fall. Ichi's more enthusiasm is quite low. But then so is Bengal, apparently. Because there's revolts in Bengal. I've taken Jinji and fight VJ's army again, but this time I will not be an attacker in mountains. I will be a defender in plains, which is useless. And get back here. Get back here! I'm attacking in jungles instead, which is, you know, so much better. Oh, so much better. But I have destroyed his army. So there's that. VJ Port has finished converting, and hey, that's where he was retreating. Fancy meeting you here, VJ. I don't know where he's going. Golconda has also converted. Uh, which means now I can do a synchronized convert of Raicho, Doab, and Velanadu. Um, I always want to move towards legalism. So more manpower, more tax, more tech cost reduction. Can I cross that straight? Can I go take that island? This may be a terrible decision. Oh, many particularists in Varanasi. Shameful defeat. Dundar was uh, beast out. That's fine. Um. Okay, I hope the vassals are doing whatever they want. Hey, why is this the Mysore? It can't be mine. There's a bug with that right now. It's going to be hot fixed, hopefully soon in this series, but still. 
kind of annoying. Not that I was necessarily planning on taking VG Anagar itself, but still. Okay, how are revolts in Bengal? Oh, that's why. That's why. It's okay, we'll get out of that stupid island very soon. And then we'll be fine. There are three provinces I'm not coloring because I want to make a vassal out of them. The rest is accounted for. Coromandel. Madurai. Excellent. The pilgrims are safe, as they should be, because I'm overseeing them. Victory for Sistan. Sistan was pieced out. Bahmani particularists have uh, crossed our borders. Where did they spawn even? Oh, Varanasi. And that's a 28 stack if I've ever seen one. That's kind of scary, actually, because I don't have much manpower. So I'm going to have to peace out very soon to go deal with that. Which I don't really want to do. I want to kill VJ for good. I want VJ to be like DED dead. I have the war goal now. Um. So VJ, how about that peace deal? Return cores, all four to Madurai. As it should be. Um, how are how stable are my vassals? Well, they are, but if I make a fort vassal again, that's not going to be very stable. So, on those four provinces, I want the stinking island, I want that fort. That's 95 war score, and that's a coalition of four people. But uh, they all don't matter. So I think that looks good. Or do I want to take... No, I can't take that uh, coastal province anyway. So I think that looks very good. VJ down to four provinces. Madurai is going to be huge. I might as well just give Chinji to Mysore. I think that'll be better. Right? Right? There we go. A lot of people unhappy, a lot of people don't matter. And we got peace! Peace and vassals being ready to be eaten. Let's get our troops back up north. Where there is a revolt to go put down. Um, I don't think you'll be able to go through VJ. I don't know why you're patting through it. I don't know why I'm allowed to pat through VJ. Doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Well, it happened. Manpower debt? Oh, good. No manpower debt per se. Our manpower is just incredibly low. Uh, 18 plus 12 is 30, so I will be able to fight this. I have lost the good general, though. Can I roll a new one or get a new one? The mirrors, they could give me a new general. There is land theft tolerated that expires in six years, which will not create unhappiness. So I can grant generalship, and I can even get, like, a ton of manpower. And we'll be fine with that even get points and make him really unhappy, but I don't need the points right now, clearly, because I'm ahead of time in military. So we're not going to get the points. We're not going to get the monarch points. Um, I don't want to core that island. Also, now that I am at peace, I have very big interest in uh, creating a vassal. Oh, I'm at war still. I can't create a vassal yet. That is majorly unfortunate. So apparently I can't core... Oh, because I couldn't control them. Right. Why can't I core this one? I'm at war with Sindh and Sindh has a core here. Oh. Well, the more you know. Um. I need to roll a general before I suicide. Oh, I did roll a general. Let's go fight these stupid rebels. Stabilize the nation. Decisive victory. Full annexation was demanded. Mewar owes me four favors. Now I can to create a vassal. Where is Katia War? Perfect. And now Katia War will be granted. Uh, Bafnagar. Boom. Now a lot of vassals are very unhappy. I mean, it also doesn't help that I've eaten a vassal. Can 
Can I eat Madurai? He is ready for annexation, so I will eat uh, Madurai or Mysore first. I can't eat Mysore. He doesn't like me enough. Then let's eat Madurai first. Or Bundelkhand? No, Bundelkhand is useful. Madurai has outlived his usefulness that he's fully cored. Oh, we have uh, vassals that are unhappy. Good thing I've picked Madurai to annex because that is going to be a problem. Now I need to make my vassals pacific. Or pass I need to vat I need to pacify my vassals, excuse me. Um and also, I need to start backstabbing Mewar and feeding him, like, to Kathiawar. So that Kathiawar has to deal with the increased coring cost. <sighs> yes. And... Truce with John Poor expires in two years, so in two years I can go to war with John Poor. I'll probably be able to... Whoa, 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 why am I attritioning myself like an idiot here? I will probably be able to pull Bengal in this war as well, and Mewar. And that's going to be perfect. I'm supposed to be improving relations with this guy as well after marrying him. There we go. We got an aristocratic coup, but it will not start soon enough, and land theft tolerated will expire before it starts. So we're fine on that front. Also, we could create, like, one more state and that would also solve the issue. How am I doing with points? Hmm. Points are taking a while. Even though I'm generating 12 a month, and I have a plus 3 advisor, it feels so weird to have, like, such high-quality advisors this early in the game. I feel like I'm winning too hard. Desh gets free assessment survey, and I get some army professionalism out of it. Sure, because now I can slack in recruitment and get a ton of manpower. Alright, I like this button. Golconda will come under merchants, or piss off the merchants. Golconda can come under the merchants, I'll take it from them after. Now that it's converted. Um, Sambalpur and Mahadeo are expensive conversions. Oh, hey, Kandi is expensive to convert as well, and Varanasi is now no longer convertible. Mostly because... Why? I used to be able to, and now I can't. Maybe I've lost the conversion bonus that I had. Uh, my Saurian Liberty Desire is high. I can placate them as well, I guess. It's such a waste of prestige, though. I dislike doing that. They have better Diplotech to start to show up. I'm gonna need to up my Diplo game. The fact that I'm so far ahead, and apparently my annexation of Madurai is not progressing. Diplo rep is minus four right now. Because overextension in annexed subjects, legitimacy is too low. But even if it's just minus three, it wouldn't be enough to start it. So I'm gonna cancel this for now. When does annex subjects expire? Uh, that's going to be in seven years. That is a long time. Uh, I have a lot of manpower, though, which is nice. Uh, let's get our armies back to a more central position, which is to say our capital. And then maybe we're going to drill them for a bit. Is there anything I can do to up my Diplo rep? I mean, I could get a Diplo rep advisor, but... Oh, I can rival them. Why can I rival? Why would I rival the Mamluks? Why do I care about the Mamluks? Heck, they lost a province to Akikwini. How did they lose a province? Maybe they got the event and they decided to sell it. Maybe they just decided to sell it because they needed money. Embezzler kings do that. Um. War is unfortunately a disjointed vassal, and he has cores that he wants. He wants two cores back from uh, Mewar. And Mewar wants my vassal, 
Well, Noir, you need to understand that you and I were no longer real friends, we're just pretend friends. We will uh, completely cease to be friends after Jonpor has been destroyed one more time and shoved inside of my nation. That will happen. Oh hey, Dundar. Aggressive expansion is extremely high because yes, I have eaten pretty dramatically. Okay. Subject liberty desire is all high even though they are starting to listen to me pretty well. Uh, do I want to fight? Uh, where is North Kanara? Do I have an army nearby? I don't want to uh, add autonomy and I don't want to spend Diplo points. Where is North Kanara? That's North Konkan. It's not North Kanara. Where is North Kanara? Is that? No, it's that's North Kanara. Yes, there we go. So it's here. Let's go side with one family and get rid of the nobles in North Kanara. Sounds like a great idea. Well, we're gonna trade manpower so we don't have to waste other stuff. There we go. Not much manpower at that point. That is a minor manpower cost. For a major hassle dealt with. Okay, I also have a ton of money. I should be investing it in building. Oh, I have Intech 6. I almost do. I really want Admin Tech 6 at this point. But Deus Volt! I must achieve Deus Volt! And have CBs on everything! Have the rule if borders, then can attack. That is the best rule of the game. There are only few things that give you that power in the game before Imperialism. And Deus Volt is one of them if you have the right religion. Which we do. Scholars that I want. Shock damage received really appeals to me. It'd have to be friend Rasids. Is there anyone else with that school? Um, there is another one. Mushasha follows Ismaili. Uh, probably wouldn't be a great friend. And we're very far from one another. But I am interested in uh, Mushasha. Because of that, oh, and I have capped military points, which is completely useless to us. Um, let us develop the country. Um, if I use the map, sort by cost. West Barar has four autonomy and costs 51. Is it the right culture? It's the other thing, that's Marathi, it's not the right culture. And it's not even converted yet, that's the other thing. There's so many things to consider when thinking where I should develop. I think Raichu the Web is actually a really good place. Recently converted and... There we go. Raichu the Web is actually a really good province, period. I should keep it that way and then develop like colonialism or something in there. That is what it is best for, I think. I shouldn't have dumped any points in it yet. Or Vilana do, or... Actually, Koto Mandel is also probably very good to develop an institution in. Coastal center of trade and its farmlands. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the dream right there. Um... But for now, we need to bide our time. Because I want to attack something. The issue right now is that Ming has tributaries, and therefore I will have to fight Ming if I attack Nepal, or if I decide to backstab Bengal. I don't want to lose. I don't lose stability though. But can I use a? Uh, I can use the free money button. But then I'd lose a stability if I do that. Do I need my stability? I mean, it's useful. Why do I have so much unrest? Most of it will go away, but if I lose a stability, it won't go away. So I can just get... Oh, but I lose missionary strength anyway. That's even worse. It's worse in so many ways. Alright, you know what? Free money it is. Debase some currency. Legally. And lose a stability. That is extremely unfortunate. But now I can get the uh, conversion of heretics, which gives me even more prestige. 
which gives me more religious unity, which makes the country even more stable. Missionary strength versus heretics, which is not really that useful. And apparently I reached a new episode, so for now, I'll thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time where chances are our truce with John Poor will expire and we will eat ourselves some John Poor yum yums. See you guys next time.